So recently I had a viewer ask me which brand of colorblind glasses I would recommend. And really in the colorblind glasses world, there's only two major brands. There's the Enchroma colorblind glasses, and then there are Pilestone colorblind glasses. And in this video, we're gonna break down the pros and cons of each, really Pilestone versus Enchroma. That's today's video, let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. If you're new here to the channel and you like learning about the eyes and seeing your best, then consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, again, recently I had somebody reach out and ask me about colorblind glasses, and I figured, hey, I have both of these. Let's do a review of them. And as always, at any point throughout the video, if you say, hey, you want to look at them a little bit more yourself, I'll put links to both of these products in the video description below so you can find them easily. And if you happen to be in the market for buying colorblind glasses, you probably searched the Enchroma brand before. This is the most popular colorblind glasses I think that are out there. They, they might be the original colorblind glasses as well, but if you've looked them up, you'll probably find the sticker price is a little bit high. Usually Enchroma colorblind glasses go for somewhere in the 300 US dollar range. And whether you happen to be buying these for yourself or for a friend or a family member, you might be thinking, wow, I don't even know if these things are gonna work for them. How am I gonna invest $300? The alternative is to look for something cheaper and if you're looking in that market then there's one other brand out there and that is Pilestone colorblind glasses. And usually Pilestone runs in about a $100 US range, so about a third of the price. Now both brands here, again, they're colorblind glasses, they both work effectively the same. They are a special selective filter technology in the lenses that help neutralize kind of the confusion zones of color gradients depending on what type of colorblindness you have. Again, that's just the basics of how they work. Honestly, I don't know exactly how the technology works between one brand versus the other. I think both brands kind of keep that secret. But as far as what you're getting versus Enchroma versus Pilestone, uh, there's some obvious differences in quality here. First of all, with Pilestone glasses, uh, right away, the biggest thing is that their sticker price. It's only about 100 US dollars. So again, about a third cheaper than the Enchroma glasses. What's really unique, if you go to their website, you'll notice that they have many lens options out there for different types of colorblindness. And that's something I really like because there are different types of colorblindness. Most people, especially men, are some form of red, green color vision deficient or colorblindness. But with, with the other types that are out there, at least Pilestone offers different lens colors. Now, as far as the quality of the lenses and the frames go for Pilestone, that's really the big difference that I've noticed with the Enchroma brand. The quality of the lenses themselves, again, they have the different options that are out there, which are really nice, but the, the quality of the plastic, the way the frames are made, uh, you can just tell they're not as fancy. If you're at all in the glasses world, even if you go to any glasses shop, you can usually kind of pick up and start to tell the quality isn't there. Uh, the frame themselves are about the most basic cheap type of plastic frame you can get. The frame plastic itself is pretty bendable and flexible, so I don't think it's gonna break right away, but I bet if you, if you push down too hard, especially in the hinges, they would break. As far as the lenses go, and when you're buying these type of glasses, you're investing really in the lenses, not as so much the frame. In fact, if you don't even like their frames, they do at least have the option to send in your own frame, and then they'll be able to cut out the lenses designed specifically for your frame. I think they even have an option for putting your own prescription in the lenses. But as far as the lenses go in these, uh, right away you can see how much, how much of the light that I'm using to shoot this video comes off of the lenses. This particular one has a kind of a blue shimmer put on the front. It's not an anti-reflective, and I think it has to do with somewhat of them trying to selectively filter out certain wavelengths, but of all the different lenses that they have, none of them seem to have anti-reflective on them at all. So right away you're kind of missing out on that bonus feature. Feature. As far as the lens material goes, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the lens material is for Pilestone. Uh, I couldn't find anything on their website, and I personally can't tell just by touching it, but I do know that they have 100% UV blockage, so I'm assuming it's probably polycarbonate. Polycarbonate lenses uh, are nice because they are kind of safety lenses. They block 100% UV light, uh, and they're very lightweight. The downside is that they do scratch pretty easily. 
And on top of that, the chromatic aberration, the way colors kind of fringe out, especially if you have a prescription lens of these, that, that may not work out as well. And if I ever find out that they're a different type of plastic, I'll put that in the description section uh, below this video so that you have an update of exactly what the material is made out of. So yes, Pilestone has great options for different colors and types of lenses, but the overall uh, frame quality, lens quality is definitely lacking. And I think that's really the, where the price difference is gonna come in. Now let's take a break from Pilestone and switch over to the Enchroma colorblind glasses. Now again, Enchroma is around the $300 US range. I think if you're got, buying the kids glasses, they're closer to the $200 US range. They're a little bit cheaper. And sometimes you can get them on sale for certain deals, especially around holidays and things like that. Now, if you ever go and check out my full review about Enchroma, they do come in this cool little case. It comes with a bunch of other like balloons and uh, cleaning cases, uh, cleaning cloths, things like that. And they come in this really nice hard plastic case. Now, if you ever check on their website, they do have different options for outdoor lenses like sunglasses. They have indoor lenses and they have a few different options for do tan versus pro tan color vision deficiency. They don't have all of the unique colors that Pilestone offers, but they at least have some very high quality ones for people who are red, green color vision deficient, which again are most people with color blindness. Now right off the bat, if you ever pick up a pair of Enchroma glasses yourself and try them on, you'll notice instantly the quality of them is way superior versus something like Pilestone is. The frame itself is made a lot better, just the actual material, the plastic seems to be way more sturdy. Uh, the hinges are, are put together and you can see that the hinges are, are a good quality hinge. They're not gonna break that easily. And even if you read on the side, they are designed in Berkeley, California, but they are manufactured in Italy. And again, in the eye care business, you'll find that most of the highest quality frames and manufacturing are either done here in the United States, which is hard to find, or they're made in Europe, such as Italy or France or somewhere. Now, if you've watched any of the other glasses reviews here on this channel, I truly value the higher quality lens materials and how they're manufactured. I think that does set a superior uh, type of vision quality that you get from lenses. And with Enchroma, the lens material is made of something called Trivex. Trivex is a superior lens product. It's very light. It is a safety material. It offers 100% UV light protection. And overall, just the optical quality of Trivex is way better than most other types of plastic. And then the other thing that I really like about the Enchroma lenses is that they also have anti-reflective on them. And it's not just the front surface. Again, like you can see here, there's kind of a, a green, blue, rainbow color coming from them. That's kind of like a shimmer sheen um, on the front surface, but they also have anti-reflective even on the back. And that's gonna help overall improve the quality and clarity of your vision looking through the lenses. And on top, it's not just an anti-reflective, but they have kind of an anti-oil, anti-smudge, anti-dust kind of properties along with the anti-reflective. But just like the Pilestone lenses, if you do go on the Enchroma website, they do offer different options. Uh, if you don't like any of their frames, they do have a larger frame selection, uh, but you can also send in your own frame and they'll put a prescription lens in there for you. Uh, again, you can check that out. Now, finally, I wanna comment on how these different colorblind glasses work. Do the Enchroma work better than the Pilestone or vice versa, or do they work the same? But before I go over that, drop a comment in the comment section below. Have you tried either of these? Are you colorblind yourself? Are you looking to get them for for yourself or maybe for a friend or a family member. Uh, what do you like best about these so far? Now, when it really comes to the function of the lenses, do they really work? Do they make a difference to your vision if you're colorblind? Now myself, again, I am not colorblind. I will pass a colorblind test very easily. If you're not sure if you're colorblind, if you're just watching this for because you're interested, I do have a color video about color blindness and figuring out if you're colorblind. I'll put that in the whole video series in the video description below. I myself am not colorblind, but I do have a friend, Matt, who uh, I featured in a previous video about the Enchroma glasses. He's tried them both on and he can vouch that yes, they both do work. However, they work a little bit differently where he could feel that at least with his form of color blindness that the Enchroma glasses seem to pop out the colors a little bit more, a little bit better definition. But he could also tell that with the Pilestone lenses that they did also work. They just, again, worked a little bit differently. And of course you can check out their websites. They have different testimonials of people either reacting to them or at least vouching for yes, that they do work. 
But I think for at least myself and being able to give my two cents about the quality of the lenses and which brand offers which, uh, definitely the Pilestone offers the many different colors and different options for different types of color blindness versus the Enchroma. But I still think the Enchroma has certainly the superior quality of the lenses, frame designs, those sort of things. So hey, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful and informative, hit the like button for me, drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about color blindness, like the genetics behind color blindness, if you want to find out if you're colorblind yourself, I do have a video going over figuring out if you're colorblind, the original colorblind test called the Ishihara test. And if you want to check that all out, click or tap the screen over here to the side so you can watch those easily. Otherwise, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. Keep an eye on it and we'll talk to you soon.